In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to use multiple keys when you use the chroma key effect either on a video clip or on a still image in PowerDirector version 17. The key basically is a color or range of colors that you select to turn transparent. It's often called a green screen technique. You may wonder why green is used. It's used because green is not found in human pigment. So if you turn green areas into transparent, it's less likely that you'll interfere with the look and feel of a human who's in your picture. Blue is often chosen for the same reason. If I play the clip, I have a spokesman, and let's see what we can do to turn the green background transparent. So I'll pause that, and we can click anywhere on the video twice or press the F2 key that will get us into our PIP designer. One of the options is called chroma key. I'll turn it on and then I'll open it up so I can see my options. The simple thing in chroma key is you have an eyedropper and you can choose the range or a denoise and new in version 17 you can add a new key or new color. Let's go ahead and use the eyedropper technique. I'll click on that and move here to what I think might be a typical color and click on it. And now I see everything disappeared except the background on the track behind this. I've got a little bit on the lower left and a little bit of green maybe on the edge here. Not too bad, but not perfect. Now there's two ways you can make a change. In version 16 and earlier, you can just change the color range. So I can take the slider and drag it to the right and the green disappeared because I've enlarged the piece of this color pie that we are green screening out. But let's assume I don't want to do that or that doesn't seem to work well. You notice I have three of the corners that are not properly lit, not perfectly the same shade of green. I can also simply add another key. I'll click here and I will click on the green and now I added a different layer of green here. So the one complements the other. So those are the two ways in which you can do this in PowerDirector 17 using a multiple key. Really simple, really nice. We'll click on OK. And now when we play our clip of our spokesman, we can see that the background has been changed to the track that's beneath it, this painting. Let's look at another example. The second one we're going to take is an, an example of a raw shot where we have a green screen and then we have at the very end a subject come in to begin to sit down. Let's try the same technique. I can press F2 or double click on it, get into my chroma key, and I notice here if you look very carefully there is a rectangular area here where it's definitely a lighter green. I can click on chroma key, click on the eyedropper and choose the area and it looks like it did a very good job. But if I dial the color range back I see that area very clearly. Now I can enlarge the color range so long as it doesn't distort the transparency on any other part or I can again click on add new key, use my eyedropper and I can key that out separately. So you notice we have two separate keys, both happen to be green here. So that's a nice easy way to apply that if you want to use multiple keys. I'll click on OK. And then when we move through this particular video, we're going to have the subject come on the screen and we notice we're not perfect yet because we've keyed out some black, which would be the microphone cable they're holding and a little bit on the bottom. So we could add a third key. We have to be careful because if we add too many, we're going to see some deterioration over here in these shades. And it will look like this uh, vest the subject's wearing is uh, miscolored, something like that. So there's a limit to what you can do uh, when it comes to keying out certain kinds of items. You have to settle for a best case scenario. Let me show you another thing where we're going to use multiple keys but not in the same color range. So we'll move our time indicator to the third one and here all we have is a Rubik's Cube 
And so I'll get into the pip designer for that. And let's assume we want to key out. We'll hit chroma key. Let's key out the yellow. I will click my eyedropper, click on yellow. And now the background here is transparent. It's hard to see because these are reddish colors, but they were yellow. If I turn it off, if I turn off the key, though now they're back to yellow. Let's also key out white. I'm going to add a new key, click on my eyedropper, click on white, and now I've keyed out the white area, except for the area around the edge. Here again, I can modify the color range if I want to, to tighten that up a little bit. And that's, that's not perfect, but it does take care of a little bit more of it. Let's also try another color for fun. Let's add a new key and we'll take blue and we'll make blue transparent. And now we have even more of the background here. You notice we have some issues crop up when we use too many of these. And uh, we can adjust the color range on the blue and see if we can make, get that gone. And now it's pretty much being transparent for blue. And so these are various options that you have when you're going to use multiple keys or color selections when you want to do chroma key or green screen in CyberLink PowerDirector. If I save this here and I'll play it, there, there's no movement, but we still have the image here and it's changed.